Gwen. And I'm Kay. We hope you enjoy our video. Today we're going to talk about how to re-ink an ink pad. I ink my pads when it seems that the ink isn't dark enough when I'm stamping. And the image is a little light. But I also ink them two times every year, about six months apart, because they do tend to dry out some if you aren't using them very much or if you've gone off and left the lids off for a long period of time. When I ink my pads, I ink them all at the same time. I have all of the colors that Stampin' Up! has. I have all of the inkers. I'm going to just sit down and I ink. To ink your pad, you're going to open up your Stampin' Up! pad like this. Take your coordinating inker. I'm using Pink Pirouette for my Pink Pirouette pad. And I'm going to just ink like this. It doesn't take very much ink. You don't have to use a whole lot. And that's all there is to it. This ink is going to meld into this felt pad. And you're going to have plenty of ink for your projects. One more time with a not quite navy pad, just so you can see what it looks like with a dark pad. I'm going to just run it across this way, and I'm going to run it across this way. Because of the unique patented style of our exclusive Stampin' Up! pads, our ink pads store upside down. This keeps the ink at the top of the pad. Every time you open it, you have ink at the top of your pad to use for your stamping project. If you're using other pads that are not Stampin' Up!, we do sell stays on. These pads need to be stored on your shelf upside down to keep that ink at the top of your pad. I re-ink all of my stays on pads exactly the same way as I do my Stampin' Up! pads. It doesn't take much. You need to remember that the more ink you put on this pad, and if you store this pad this way in your shelf, the ink is going to settle down here at the bottom and you're just going to keep adding from the top and pretty soon it's going to start oozing out the bottom which is exactly what happened to uh, an office where I was working before I married Kay. We opened up the drawer and there was literally ink, a puddle of it, about this big. And figured it out that everybody just kept inking the pad, but nobody was turning it over to store it. So I hope this video helps you to understand how easy it is to ink up any kind of an ink pad the proper way to store them, Stampin' Up! stores like this once again because our ink pads store upside down. Store your other ink pads upside down. Um, you shouldn't use a half a bottle to re-ink. It should just take a very little and you're good to go. For more tips and projects, be sure to visit my blog at GwensPaperExpressions.com and for exclusive content, be sure to sign up for my email newsletter Thanks a lot.